Hey everyone, it's Kim Jefferson of the Fabulous Fit Squad and today's Wisdom Wednesday. And today I wanted to talk about what are you willing to change to get what you want? And the example comes from uh, one of my clients where, you know, we first start working together and, you know, the goal was to lose 10 pounds. And so typically I find most people already have a great basis of exercise. And so usually a lot of the, you know, weight loss, fat loss comes from, you know, making some tweaks into their diet. So, you know, we, we, you know, made her keep a food journal for a week and then I looked at her food journal. And so I saw that there, I saw that there were areas that we needed to pull out to see if that would get us, you know, get the fat loss moving. And so as soon as I, you know, started to kind of work into that food, all of a sudden the brakes went up. It was like, will danger will Robinson, you know, why do we have to change my food? I don't want to feel deprived. And it was just like the wall just came up immediately. And it's not about feeling deprived. It's, and I, you know, I want to meet my clients where they are. So instead of me, you know, pushing like, you must and having the food rules and being the food police, I always ask people, what can you do this week? One thing, one step, not this big sweeping change, if we look at our meals, and I went through and I highlighted the, the areas that we needed to tweak, and I said, if we went through and high, if, of all the things I highlighted, give me one thing this week that you can remove out, out of your plan and it not feel like deprivation, not feel like you're lacking, not feel like you're dieting. Because if you feel that way, you're not going to be successful. If you ever feel that you're feeling deprived, if you ever feel like you're dieting, you are not going to stick with it. So, you know, what we did is literally over every week, we pulled out one thing. The next week, we pulled out one thing. And I was like, are you ready? And we would pull out another thing. Are you ready? And we pull out another thing. So eventually, what was this wall of resistance slowly started to crumble. So for you, if you keep a food journal, because food journals tell you everything, anything you put in your mouth, write it down. It tells you everything. Take a look at that food journal. And if there's anything on that food journal that you know you shouldn't have in your mouth, find a way for you to pull it out. If you can't pull it out every day without making you feel deprived, start every other day. And we all know the extra nibbles and quibbles that we need to pull out. And just start with every day and eventually get there to the next level, to the next level. And I'll tell you that your, you know, your fat loss isn't going to be fast and dramatic if you do it that way, but it'll be slow, steady, consistent, and you won't have this automatic like food withdrawal, this food deprivation feeling, and you will stick with your diet. If you want me to take a look at your food journal, I would love to do that. Shoot me an email. My email is right below and I will help you to see where the nibbles are in your diet. Have an amazing Wednesday.